Well, on Wednesday, Congress voted to raise the debt ceiling, and the following day, President Biden signed the increase into law, ensuring the U.S. will not default on its debt by the first time uh, ever by agreeing to spend $2.5 trillion more, uh, tackling it onto our endless national debt. Republicans in Congress remain steadfast against raising the debt limit, but the Democrats were able to do it anyway. Uh, two people who know the ins and outs of debt ceiling debate are here to join me now. New York Congresswoman Claudia Tenney and Georgia Congressman Andrew Clyde. They join me now. Congresswoman Tenney, uh, I'll start with you. Uh, how were the Democrats able to do this without Republican support? Well, they have enough votes. We have to take back the House. And uh, we had actually two Republicans, who you saw on the screen, supported raising the debt ceiling. Not sure why they did that, but unfortunately, uh, they are able to pass that and they got enough votes in the Senate. Sadly, some of our Senate Republican colleagues voted to raise the debt ceiling, which is only causing more problems uh, in terms of inflation, which is almost at 7 percent. And uh, we're seeing just, you know, a huge, a uh, huge, it's, it, it's a tax. And uh, we're seeing this really affecting small businesses. And then I feel like this is just the gateway to negotiate uh, the Build Back Broke uh, plan that the Democrats want to put through. But as you saw yesterday, Biden pivoted and they decided, oh, no, I think what we want to do now is focus on voting rights because they're so unpopular. They've got to now figure out a way to manipulate our voting system and corrupt it uh, while we're trying to maintain election integrity, because that's the only way they think they're going to win at the ballot box. Uh, now, Congressman Cloud, I want to come to you because, you know, for me, I've always said that the debt ceiling is not about actual spending. It's about uh, the debt ceiling for me is just it's the statement you get from American Express that reminds you that you have money you've already spent uh, that you need to pay. Uh, you know, for me, uh, it, it's, it's basically the reminder. It's supposed to tell you, hey, we have to stop spending, honey. We need to, you know, maybe cut the card up uh, and start, start living within our means. It appears we continuously, like, take the note throw the note out and keep spending like there's no tomorrow without actually ever sending the money to American Express. Joe, you're exactly right. Uh, we have got to stop spending. Uh, just increasing the debt limit, increasing the debt limit is like taking that credit card that you mentioned and just increasing the spending limit uh, with no intention whatsoever to pay it back. And that's fiscally irresponsible. That's not what we do as Americans. Um, you know, we should be cutting our budget. We should be cutting federal spending. We should be living within our means. We should not be spending more than what the, the revenue department takes in. Uh, you know, we're not at war right now. You know, our nation is not in great peril. So there is no reason whatsoever uh, that we should be spending more money than we take in. So raising the debt ceiling uh, is irresponsible, in my opinion, without also cutting the spending of the federal government, which would eventually mean you don't need to raise the debt ceiling anymore. So that's the big issue here. Uh, you know, somebody's got to take responsibility. Somebody's got to step up to the plate. And we Republicans, those who voted against the debt ceiling, we stepped up to the plate. And Claudia was one of them. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.